Okay, so today I'm going to show you um, some footage of the picket fence where JFK was assassinated. Um, it's not footage you generally see. Um, I apologise it's taken with a phone, so it's a little box, but you get the idea. Um, when you stand here and look, you see for yourself the area and and you can clearly see which is the best shot. But make your own minds up and... Uh, just put yourself in the position of the sniper for once and say, if you was a sniper, where would you shoot from? You're looking at this footage and and seeing um, seeing actually the Abrams Abruder film. Well, I think you can tell yourself where the best uh, shot was. I'll leave it to you to decide. There could be a pickup over there, right here, on the back of it, and it can be gone and, and away before. And look, look at the overpass there. So you can be away, either that door, or you can be on your toes, you can lob the gun in the back of a car, right, and you can be on your toes over the train tracks. You could just casually walk away and hide. Just and so easy, so easy. But And you have to remember in them days this wasn't concrete, this was just dirt. Yeah. Well, this is the other end of the... So that's the car park um, behind the picket fence. You can see there's a good view from there. Um, if you was going to take a headshot as a sniper, um, that would probably be my favourite position um, over the, the, the book depository. But history says otherwise. We have to go with what history says, but it doesn't mean we can't question it. <laughs> 